Uh, what we have here is a banjo boat, and basically this allows the fuel to pass through on the return line, and it goes through because it has the ability to... But these are called banjo boats. I'm trying to put it back together where I can kind of show you how it goes. But as you can see right there, it's got... This in here has got three holes in it. And then, of course, it's got the one right there in that end. Well, it sheared off. I was able to get it out. But the problem is now I got to have one to replace it. Well, therein lies another problem. <clears throat> Don't look like I'm going to be able to necessarily get it. And there's also the problem with not sure... Because when you order stuff online and the parts stores, they, they don't have a thing to go by to know how long the boat is. Plus, the only ones they're finding is only got the two holes in it for the replacement part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out. and I'm going to turn it into a banjo boat by simply taking a drill and drilling right through the center and then of course drilling some holes in there inside and then to get everything perfectly lined up I'm going to take this clamp and I'm going to put the two kind of right in there so that it'll hold it lined up so I can make sure I get the drill bit in the correct location so it look, should look something like this well the first one idea I had didn't work so we're going to try it a little different I'm going to put some tape on it and uh, we'll keep the threads from getting boogered up on the good boat before I clamp them together with the vice grips. Now right there, we got it lined up. We put the tape on there so that it wouldn't booger the threads up. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're just kinda using that to help get the uh, drill started so that in order to keep it from going all over the place and making a, a messed up messed up one, and then the next thing to do is gonna be to find a drill bit that's the size of that hole now I've got here a set of drill bits. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through them and I'm going to find one that fits in that hole right there because I don't want to go any smaller and I don't want to go any bigger due to if it's smaller, it could potentially cause a problem, which that is a return line banjo boat. So, I mean, it's probably not going to be under the same kind of pressure it's going to be going in. Now... That's not the perfect, but that's pretty close to perfect, uh, so maybe it won't be too big of a trouble. And then basically the next thing to do is going to be to take and put a drill on it and start drilling. Now, I don't want to go all the way in on it first round. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it started, and then I'm going to remove the upper bolt and the vice grips on the between the two of them. Because then I'm going to wrap tape around that right there because I want it to stop before it goes too deep because I don't want it to go through the back of the head of the boat. Now that I got the drill and everything, I'm pretty much just going to kind of leave it there for a little bit, let it kind of get it started. And then after I get it go through just a little bit, then I'm going to remove everything. Now, as you can see right there, I've got it started, and sure, it looks a little bit off-center, but there's actually tape covering up some of it, so it's actually better in than what you're probably seeing. Now, right here, the next thing I'm fixing to do is I'm going to take, kind of figure out about where I want to put my tape at, so I want to put it right here, so that way I don't go too far in. I don't want it to go past the head of, I don't want it to go past the head of the boat, so I'm just going to put it right there. And this could all be done a lot easier if I had a lathe. I do not have one, so we're just improvising at this point. It also would be better if I had a vice, but I don't. So, going to keep drilling and you see like I said I've got tape to kind of keep it from bottoming out so that's how I'm going to do it. Also an important thing to point out that when drilling metal that it is actually quicker if you do not go wide open with the drill. It actually it gives it time to actually cut and bite. So if you're just like this right here it's going to take you longer to get in than it would if you just 
put steady pressure on it and have it like that right there. It's also important in between every, every so often taking kind of get the excess build up out of there. That way you're not having to mess with that. And, uh, all right, I believe we just about got it done. And, all right, we're done with the first part of it now. It's a little off. It's not perfect, but I kind of figured that that might happen. So the next thing is going to be to drill a hole into this part of it right here. So that way the fuel can pass through it. Now this right here is going to be the fun part, trying to take and get it started. So since it's going to be a little bit rough, the best thing you can do probably right here to make you a, a guiding hole or something to help it stay centered where you need it at is to get you like a punch or a hammer and a chisel basically you know like a pointy one and then just hit it one or two times to make you a spot for the drill to stay on point so this is what i got right here i'm gonna take and put that kind of like that and then i'm gonna hit it with a hammer now i've made just a small mark kind of to help keep it in line so it'll drill through it And for, for the people wondering why I don't just go buy one of these, well, I'm going to explain it to you. I done went and tried to locate one. Could not find one. And part stores, not even too sure that they can get it. And getting one, and since uh, most stuff online don't really give you a, a complete uh, detail, um on links and threads stuff like that right there most of the time it's pretty much just a shot in the dark now sometimes you got to get a little creative when stuff don't want to stay put it wants to keep moving around so you got to get a little creative on how you make things work i say it always helps to have the right tool for the job and for the most part it does but when you improvise sometimes you end up doing junk like this right here um, I finally had to do that right there just so I'd have that little hole to hold the bit in place till it actually started drilling. <laughs> Which you can see right there. It's got a hole in it. Um, I've got to drill all the way through. Probably ain't going to hurt to make it just a tad bit bigger. But that's pretty much what you're going to end up passing to do something like that if you can't locate it. Um... Like I said, if I if I could have got one, I would have gladly paid the fifteen dollars for it just to not have to do all this nonsense right here. But can't get it, and I'd like to get this truck up here and going pretty soon. Y'all can let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe.